Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to download and use Edison for the Nintendo Switch. So Edison is basically a save manager that also has cheats built into it. So specifically, I'm going to be showing you how to use the cheat manager and how to format all your codes and place them in the right spot and how to auto enable them. So this is just going to be an all in one tutorial, mostly just for getting cheats set up on the switch and also for uh, the proper formatting and stuff of the text files. So to start off, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to this GitHub page, which I'll have linked in the video description, and then download the latest build of Edison. So it's going to be a .nro file. That's what you're going to want to look for. So then uh, once it's downloaded, you should see it down here, and you're going to want to place it inside of the Switch folder on your SD card. Now for this uh, tutorial, I'm assuming you already have Atmosphere installed, since Atmosphere is the main CFW and Edison works best with that. So we can just go ahead and drop this right in there like that. I already have it, so we can just replace it. And that's basically all the setup that there is. There is actually no more additional setup that you need for Edison besides that, but that would be a rather short video, so I'm going to be showing you specifically how to set up cheats and stuff. So to do that, you're going to want to go back to the root of your SD card, and then inside of the Atmosphere folder, uh, you should see a folder called Contents. And if you don't, then you might want to make one, because this is where all of uh, the title IDs for the games that you're going to be cheating in go. Uh, the same guy who made Edison, as you can see, it's the same GitHub username. Uh, he has a compilation of all of these different uh, cheats for different games. So you can find whatever you want, or if the codes that you want to use are not on here and they were just given you specifically, I'll be showing you how to set up and format all of the text files later in the video. So since this one's at the top, let's just do this one as an example. Uh, right here you'll see the title ID and then you'll see slash cheats. So what you're going to want to do is just copy the title ID. And then you're going to want to go into the contents folder and as you can see the folder structure kind of uh, evens out. You're going to want to create a new folder as you guessed with that title ID. Now it should be 16 characters, you don't want anything less or anything more. So then inside of that, um, as you can see there's cheats, but if you click on it, it, it'll just bring you right to a text file. So that's a stage you don't want to forget, you need to make sure that you create a folder called cheats in there and then inside of that folder that's where you can download this text file and put it in there um, and then we're going to do a raw and then we can save this as and then we're going to put that in the same folder that we just created so atmosphere contents and that was this one i believe nope it was not that one it was this one cheats and then inside of here and then go back into it and as you can see uh the file is right in there so now if you were doing this for a game that you uh, created codes for, let's just go back here. Let's just take another title ID, just another random title ID. I'm gonna create a folder with this, as I said before, same thing. New folder, cheats, same thing. And then the, t the text file, this is going to be the build ID. So you can find this in Edison. What you're going to do is you're going to load up the game on your Nintendo Switch, and then while the game is loaded up, you're going to go to the home menu and press the album icon, and then you're going to go into Edison, and then Cheats, and then you will be able to see the build ID. So this is um, a 16-digit code as well. Make sure it's formatted as all lowercase. So for this example, since I don't actually have it, I'm just going to leave it as this, because like I said, this is just an example. I'm just going to be showing you how to format this file now. So at the top, you can either have two types of codes. One of them is a master code, and one of them is just a normal code. So a master code starts with this curly brace, and then it also ends with them. So let's just say, like, always have power up or something. So this master code will uh, always be enabled if you enable different cheats too, because that's basically what a master code is. It, it usually uh, sets up the memory and stuff so that other codes can uh, access it and use it the same way. Usually this is done so you don't have to repeat a lot of lines if you have codes that are very similar to each other. I've seen this used uh, for item hacks and stuff on Mario Kart games. And then right here is where you would put the cheat. So then this is the other type of code, just a normal one that you can activate and deactivate at any time. So let's just call this like coin modifier or something. And then down here below is where you would paste the code. So of course you don't need to have a master code, you could have just one of these. And then let's just say this is the code, this is not an actual cheat format, so do not use this. And then if you had another code, you could just put it right below it like that. The formatting with Edison is not actually very particular. You don't necessarily need to have a space between the codes, but it's just good practice to keep a space between them just to make sure it reads it all correctly and stuff. 
So then once you're all good with the text file, uh, you can save it. And then, like I said, we're just going to pretend that this is the build ID of the game. And then uh, you should be set up to use the cheats for that game. So now what I'm going to be showing you how to do is how to auto enable cheats. So you should see a file called system settings. This might be inside of uh, config templates if you don't have one already. For the sake of accuracy, I'm going to delete that and I'm going to go back into config templates. I'm going to copy the same one over here. So uh, you'll have one in here too. And now you should have one just inside of the atmosphere folder. So this is an INI file. You can just edit it with um, notepad. You don't need any advanced editors or anything. And then what you're going to look for is this line, DMNT cheats enabled by default. This will allow you to enable cheats by default if you change this to a zero. And then if you remove the note. And this uh, specific, I guess, language that they're using, I wouldn't even really call it a language. Um, th this is the notation for a note. You can just leave it like this if you want to auto-enable cheats for any game. And then anytime you don't want it to happen, uh, you can just comment it out again. Because, like I said, this is the notation for a comment or a note, whatever you want to call it. And then if you want them auto-enabled, just leave it like that. So this text file is all set up. So now if I was to go onto my switch right now with all these files exactly how they are, um, I would be able to auto load cheats for whichever games I have and I have set up already for. For example, I have them set up for Mario Maker. Let's see, is this Mario Maker? Nope, that's not Mario Maker. Is this Mario Maker? Yep, this is Mario Maker. So this is a code I made. So this will auto enable since I have uh, that atmosphere setting set up. And then if you want to disable it, don't get me wrong, auto enable does not mean that you cannot disable it. You can still go into the Edison menu and disable it normally, but auto enabling just means that you will not have to go into the menu every time you load up the game if you have a specific set of uh, codes that you're going to always be loading up. So yeah, that's uh, basically just an all-